Hello, Singapore math fans, scholars, parents, um, and teachers. This is a video that is going to talk about tens and ones. Now, tens and ones are a very um, important um, topic to be talking about, in particular because it is the foundation of what math is all about. And so we're going to start with tens and ones. To begin, let's actually write down what we use to write down numbers. Uh, so let's begin counting. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, while you're out there, can you think of the digit that uh, we use to mean none? That's zero. And so if we count here, these are what we call the digits that we use. Let me spell the word out so you can see it. D-I-G-I-T-S. Digits. And there are ten of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There are ten digits. And these ten digits we use to make all the numbers that we can. Um, not just one-digit numbers or two-digit numbers, but we can make three-digit numbers and any number of digit numbers that you would like using these ten digits. But where these digits are placed determine what they are worth. Um, to begin, we're going to start with counting how many um, squares we have. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So what digit would I use to show this? I would use... 9. I would write down 9 here. So, uh, what, ha what would happen if I added one more, though? If I added one more, the number would change. And now let's see how many we have. Well, we know we had 9 here, and one more, just count the next number, we have 10 now. Or let's just verify just to make sure. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yes, we have 10. Once I have 10, I'm going to group them all. Once you have 10 of something, you're going to group it. And this right here is a group of 10. So I know I don't have to count these individually anymore. I now know that I have 10 squares. Now, if I add one more square, I now have the next number that comes after 10, which is 11. And I'd write 11 such as this right here. Now, it's important for us to know um, that this number right here is made up of two digits. One digit here and one digit there. Let me put that number. Um, into this place value chart. This is what we call a place value chart. It shows how many ones we have and how many tens we have. If you have a two digit number and you're dealing with whole numbers, then it is going to be giving you the number of tens and the number of ones. Now, if I look back at my picture, how many tens do I have? Um, I have one ten here, and how many ones, how many remaining? Um, squares do I have that were not tens? I have one. So we would call these ones. So I have one ten and one one. Well notice that in this number it's showing the number of tens one ten and one one. So this number right here is eleven. It's telling me that I have one ten and one one. Okay? Now this number would change if I change the digits. This number right here says that I have 110 and zero ones. So all that would mean is I would have this group of 10 right here and not that one extra write down another number so we can get a little bit more practice with this.
Let's write the number 14. In 14, it says I have 1 10 and 4 1s. All right? 1 10 and 4 1s. All right, let's move on. We have now a 10, a base 10 block, and this is a 10 rod. It's a 10 rod because there are 10 ones put together. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And once I have 10 ones, I bundle them up and I rename them a 10. So this is a 10. I would write 10 such as that number right there. Now let's continue to count by 10s and see what we get. There's 10. There's two tens, 20, 30, 40. I can write the number 40 like this right here, 40. Okay, and how many tens do I have? Well, I have four tens. One, two, three, four. Four what? Four tens. Okay, now it's important to know that the unit that I'm talking about is tens. The four that I'm talking about tells me how many tens do I have? So the four in this case is the adjective. It is being used to describe how many tens I have. And the tens are the noun. Okay? This is a very important concept that you'll have to know and uh, remember and apply in math when you are adding, subtracting, um, and moving on to other math in the future. Okay, let's continue to count. See, I have five tens, that's 50. Six tens, that's 60. Seven tens, that's 70. Eight tens, that's 80. And I would write that down with an eight in the tens place and zero ones. And let's continue. That's nine tens and ten tens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten tens. Um, let's count by tens to see what that is. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, one hundred. So that's a hundred right there. Okay? So ten tens make a hundred. Okay. Now we have a situation where we have. Um, these are tens, so I have how many tens? One, two, three, three tens. And how many ones? One, two, three, four. I have four ones. If you read this number, this number is 34. So 34 has three tens and four ones. If I'm making a number bond, I can see that 34 is the whole and the two parts that make up 34 according to their places um, is 30 and 4. 34. Do you see that? 34. It's not 304. It's 30 and 4 make 34. Let's answer some questions about this. 34 is 3 tens and how many ones? Well, it's 3 tens and how many ones? 4 ones. 34 is what and 4? Well, 34 is 30 and 4. 34 is four more than what number? Well, it's four more than 30. Four more than 30 is four more than 30 is 34. And lastly, 30 plus four equal what number? 30 and 4 are the same as what number? 34.
yes. Okay. Let's do a couple of examples here. I'm going to write down this number. I wrote down 83. 83 has 8 tens and 3 ones. And this form that I'm writing the number down in is what we call place value form. It tells us how many, how many tens we have and how many ones we have according to the place that we're in. So the place acts as the noun and the digit tells us how many of that we actually have, okay? Which is the adjective. So I have three, three of what? Three ones. And I have eight, eight of what? Eight tens. And eight tens is um, written down as this number, 80. And three ones is written down as three. So 80 plus 3 is 83. And if you hear the word we're saying, we're actually just saying 83. 80 and 3. Okay? Let's do one more. Alright, this number here we would say as 97, and so in this we know that we have 9 tens and 7 ones. Now this form that we've written the number in is place value form, and now we'll write it down using um, the actual numbers. So 9 tens is what? 90, we write it down using these digits. 9 in the tens place and 0 ones and 7 in the ones place and no tens. So we have 90 plus 7. This is what we call expanded form of this number right here. So 97 is written as 90 plus 7 if we want to expand all of its parts and show you all of what we're adding together. I hope that you enjoyed this video on tens and ones and learned a lot. Please add some comments, um, and I hope that you enjoyed and can learn from this.